Hey everybody, how are you doing today? So I'm out for my walk this morning and I thought we would talk about what I didn't preach on Sunday, which was 1 Samuel chapter 7, verses 7 through 11. Now I preached on 1 through 6 and I called that sermon Longing for the Lord. And so today I thought, well, we just talk about verses 7 through 11, but I primarily want to think about verse, verse 7. I think it's verse 7. It's when Samuel, the people ask Samuel in verse 7. No, it's not verse 7, because in verse 7, the Philistines hear about Israel gathered together. You know, every time there is a convocation of faith and the people get serious about what they believe, the devil's going to try to intervene. And so this is exactly what he does in this chapter. He's going to try to drive them out, get them to, you know, come off their faith, to doubt, to fear, and all the rest. Because, well, that's just what he does. And so we have them, you know, the Philistines come up. They ask uh, Samuel to pray, pray for us. And what does Samuel do? He builds an altar there at Mizpah, and he sacrifices a young lamb upon the altar, and he calls on the name of the Lord, and the Lord hears him. It's those, those things happen right after the people ask Samuel, don't stop crying out to the Lord for us. So what Samuel does is exactly what we do every time we pray in Jesus' name. Because Sta Samuel is standing in the blood of that lamb, and by the authority of that sacrifice, he is making his request to God. So that lamb, that young lamb, whole burnt offering looks forward to the Lord Jesus and his offering on the cross. And so when we pray, we're looking back to the cross and the young lamb and the whole burnt offering that was offered on the cross. And when we pray, we're standing too in that same place with that same authority because we have the lamb's blood for our authority. And then we cry out to the Lord and the Lord hears us. And what are we crying out to the Lord about? The people asked Samuel not to stop crying out for them. And Samuel had just told them in a previous uh, verse that the Lord was gonna deliver them from the Philistines. So when he cries out after offering that lamb, he does it according to God's will. Remember what the apostle John taught us. He said that um, this is the confidence that we have before him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. So Samuel asked according to the will of the Lord. The people had done what they needed to do. They made it right. They confessed their sin. Samuel had offered that lamb, that whole burnt offering. And in the authority of that offering, he makes a request according to God's will and God hears. And then the thunder strikes. Ladies and gentlemen, the thunder can strike for each one of us if we ask according to God's will in Jesus' name. We too must stand there in the authority of the Lamb and ask in Jesus' name, according to the Word of God. So I encourage you today, go pray. Go pray in Jesus' name. Ask according to God's will, that is according to His Word, and watch God thunder on your enemies. God bless you guys. I love you. See you soon. Bye.